Welcome to the 2015 National Advocacy Awards Dinner. Please welcome tonight's host. He is the moderator of NPC's Meet the Press, as well as political director of NPC News. Here is Chuck Todd. I'm very happy uh, to be a part of this and a part of tonight's discussion. We're calling it a capital conversation. We'll gather to both honor and learn from our nation's leaders, top healthcare experts, researchers on the subject of accelerating cures for lupus and other chronic diseases. Our goal this evening is to expand the conversation and learn just how leaders from Congress, federal agencies, the pharmaceutical industry, and the research community are working together to move forward and make more of these treatments available for the millions of Americans who live with chronic disease with a specific focus on exploring the 21st Century Cures Act. We really went to the experts and we asked questions. We said, what can we do to expedite the approval of drugs and devices so we can get these done homegrown, so we keep the jobs here, but we really solve the issues that truly impact every family. We can get this thing done and it will be a tremendous impact, not only on lupus, but cancer and diabetes and Alzheimer's, you name it. It's gonna be a great win for the American public. Well, the bread and butter of our funding is the NIH. I can tell you we're, we have a crisis. We have more than ever an exodus of scientists leaving academia. And we say probably 30% of people that were doing lupus research before are not doing it now. Worse than having established scientists close their labs, which they're doing, we can't attract young talent into the discovery field. From a development issue, a bigger problem for us. We have got to change the way we design clinical trials. We just can't keep doing the same old thing. It takes way too many patients, too long, and too much money. Let's get this across the finish line. It can happen, and, and it means more money for NIH. Let's not be afraid to talk about money. It should be funded, we think, at another level of doubling. There's so much science, as, you, as you've said, Sue, that isn't happening. And it ripples throughout the, throughout the research ecosystem so that the pharmaceutical and biotech industries are unable to move at the pace they need to move at. I've never seen a more exciting time in terms of the promise of where research can take us and right now. The technologies that have been invented in the last few years, some of them coming out of the field of genomics, but immunology is being revolutionized in ways that are really breathtaking. And if you want to understand lupus, obviously immunology is a big part of the answer. But lupus is this disease that affects so many different organ systems. We need to bring the full power of all of the research capabilities that are out there to come up with those answers, to find the next generation of drug targets, and to de deliver on that. Our scientists are very, very good at what they do. But what they do is attack targets and find ways to attack targets. And the ecosystem needs those targets which we got out of academic research and we got out of research funded by the NIH. But if we can work with the NIH, with academia, with our regulator, with our industry, with physicians, and most importantly with patient groups to be better, faster, and smarter about how we develop, evaluate, and deliver those medicines, then we will be able to bring those cures and those treatments to patients and patients suffering with lupus sooner and in a better way than ever before. I just want to bottle this because it is sort of, it's, it's, the, uh, it's nice to see some optimism and hope. So then big thanks to these guys. Thank you.